oh my god, is that a fully white wild peacock? Like, since when we have that in Singapore and why is it white? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello everyone. So tomorrow is Deepa Valley, and so I thought, hey, why don't I go to Sentosa to find some peacocks, you know, since it's such a sacred animal to Hinduism. And so here I am on this sunny sandy island, and look over there, it's a peacock. Okay, but firstly, the name peacock refers to only the males. And this animal as a whole are actually called pea fowls, with the females being called pea hens. And even though these birds are free roaming around Sentosa, pea fowls are actually not native here. So they were introduced into Singapore at Sentosa in 1980 and it was all to enrich the flora and fauna of the island and to help to uh, add a rustic charm to the place. Uh, in other words, to turn this place into a tourist attraction. Uh, which I totally get because they're such a vibrantly coloured and visually attractive bird, right? But have you ever wondered how does such a big, colourful bird with such large tail feathers even survive in the wild? Ah, wow, good question. Well, if you actually look at who are the predators of your peafowls in the wild, it's mostly your big cats and your wild dogs. And as we know, these animals have a much more limited perception of colours than we do. And so as much as we appreciate the vibrant colours of a peafowl, they actually blend in with the colours of the forest for many animals, including their predators. So we're actually one of the few lucky beings that can actually appreciate their colours. And as for the long tails of the males, they actually only grow out during the mating season and they're actually very easily detachable. So if a predator does catch hold onto the tails, it can just come off without hurting the peacock much. Okay, but if you're already smitten by their glossy blue and green feathers, you won't believe what I just found because look there. Ah, there, there, there. Yeah, it's a white peacock. This individual here is white because of a genetic mutation. And most people might think, wow, that one is albino peacock. Ho, 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 hold on, hold on. That's actually called a leucistic peafowl. And the big difference is actually in their eyes. So for albino birds, they can't produce the body pigmentation melanin at all. And that's why oftentimes their eyes seem red because that's the colour of the blood that's inside of it. Leucism in birds, on the other hand, is much more selective where only certain body parts do not have any colours. And so for like the leucistic pea hen over here, it's the feathers, right? And that's why in leucistic pea fowls, their eyes are still this dark bluish colour. And be it albinism or leucism, this rare lack of colours in birds occurs only around 1 in every 30,000. And so I actually feel super lucky to, you know, spot one today. Which is so apt because peacocks kind of represent luck and prosperity in Hinduism, right? So peacocks are a sacred animal to the religion. And they're also often seen as the vehicle or like the chariots of many Hindu deities. And that's why you can see many peacocks represented in Indian arts and culture. But that being said, although we have a lot of ties with them and the peacocks are pretty chill with human presence, I still need to remind everyone that these free roaming peafowls here in Sentosa or all around Singapore, they are still wild animals. So especially during the mating season between February to August, peafowls do get a little bit more aggressive and territorial. And don't think that just because they are pretty means they are harmless. Huh? Because they do have sharp claws to use for defence. And unfortunately, there are indeed you no know, records of peafowl attacks even in Singapore. So as with any wild animal, the same rules apply. Right? Let's appreciate them from a distance. Do not feed them. And remember to off your flesh when you're taking videos or photos of them. And also keep a lookout for their body language. If they are staring at you and they are puffing their feathers up, maybe that's a sign that you're making them feel threatened. So stay clear if they you know, start doing that. But with that out of the way, I still think that these birds are such beautiful creatures to observe, right? Like, especially when the males fan open their tail feathers. Like, who can ever get sick of that sight? And yes, I know it's meant for peahens, but I'm pretty sure everyone is also a little bit mesmerised. 
And whether you all are going out to celebrate or if you're just enjoying the public holiday, I hope that you stay mesmerised tomorrow during the Festival of Lights. And I hope that by seeing lots of peafowls here in this video, that you all will be super blessed with luck and prosperity. And so this marks the end of today's episode. But before we leave, I'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Sports Match, you know, no, 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 Ingle, H. Queen, Limpets, Muffin, Nana, Nana, Silla, Mark, Jelly, Pingu, Master, Just Juice, Jablock, Tango, Amaldillo, Nego, Sama, Uncle Sam, Milia, Coquette, Spider, Low, Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, Nero, and Angel, and Emmy. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on all my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep your eyes peeled because there's a jungle out there and actually I've got this fun fact that I want to share with you guys but I only want to keep it till the, the end of this video because I don't want to spoil the whole episode but do you know that peacocks are in the same family as your chickens and your turkeys and you know if you actually go and look back at all the footage that I caught right when they're walking like that they just look like big colourful chickens eh? like it's, it's practically related that's all okay bye bye happy Diva Bali